Alrighty, I'm back. <clears throat> ah, sorry, I had to eat lunch or dinner. I had a sandwich. I was hungry. Also, I was getting antsy, which meant that I was hungry. Blood sugar. Anyway, <clears throat> there's only one swear in Chinese Emerald, but it's up to late in the game. Oh, I'm not worried about swear words. I'm only worried about, like, you know, slurs. I could give a sh I could give less of a shit about swear words. Come on, what am I, a family-friendly content creator? <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good joke. Anyway. So, we're going to do some more Drill Dozer. Um, last time, I started the game, and we did a little bit of checking it out. I'm going to have to relearn a lot of the stuff with this game again, but um, because it's just been so long. But I figured it would be good to come back and check it out, and, uh, well, we'll continue it. So, without further ado, let me pop in, pop it, let's pop it in, gamers. Yeah! Pop it! Yo, you wanna pop it, and lock it, and bop it? Whoa! Where, where is it? There it is. We're gonna, we're gonna pop it, and lock it, sock it, and fuck it, and burp it! And do a bunch of other things! You know, I, re I really need to organize this shit better. Holy shit. There we go. <laughs> I re I'm like, oh god, I need to organize this shit better. There we go. We're back. All right. Chat, I want you to play the game of Guess the Pokemon Sound Fun. I hear several in that one clip. I just heard uh, several there. I just scared the rock going, Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! Boss! Can you hear me? It looks like you made it inside! I almost stole a red diamond was taken to the museum. Let's get it back! Anyway. Oh, are you are you kidding me? Oh, that's right. I need to get Drill Dozer feels weird without the vibration in my opinion. That's why I have a controller. I'm playing it with a controller right now. Uh swamp. Oh wait, hold on. Ah, uh, see now this is what I was talking about. I gotta remember how to play the game. Oh, uh, you know what? I gotta go get. I gotta go find the gears. That's right. So I gotta go find the gears, and then I gotta go do that stuff. Got it. I hear contest move sound bits. <laughs> I heard the contest sound. Oh man, that's why I have the um 
my controller because my controller has the um it has the it has the vibration so i can actually feel the vibration in this that red tube up ahead is part of the museum's air conditioning system air ducts make perfect for sneaky point entrance like for thieves like us again this dude just looks like a bootleg red just drill through the ducks grooves sped through them keep in mind you gotta drill the other direction than the blue ducks All right, there we go. Got him. Again, what a really interesting concept. It really is. It, it honestly... It is a really interesting concept. The whole drill thing is such a weird... Like, I love it, though. I love that it's such a weird, like, concept. It's actually kind of fun, though. You know what I want Game Freak to do? I want them... You know what? I think, honestly, they might have. There we go. There's the other gear. I think they might have actually made a reference to this game with Rhyperior. Just a little bit. If Game Freak revisited this today, they'd probably throw extra control as the main character. That or Rhyperior. Yeah, I agree with you. If they did revisit this, they would probably do that. And I feel like maybe, just maybe, Rhyperior or even Excadrill could be like a reference to this. Because they were they were made after this game, right? Like, I know at least Excadrill was, but Rhyperior, I'm not sure. Because I know this game was made like in that weird in the middle area between like the Game Boy Micro and the fucking uh, DS. I would love it if they revisit this game. This game's actually really fun, and I'd actually would like like to see them revisit this game. Here. So yeah, I gotta go back up here. And then go all the way Imagine what they could do with the HD rumble on the Switch. Imagine what they could. That's the worry. Cause you know, you know damn as well what they wouldn't do. Like I hate to be that guy, but imagine what they could do is is correct. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm confused. Too bad this game didn't sell that well. Yeah, that's typically what happens. When games like this that are actually really good and they don't sell well, they get shafted. That's what happened. That's why you get games like Kanto for like the 15th fucking time in a row. Well, it worked the last time.
Okay, chat, I'm kind of confused. Where am I supposed to go here? Look up three times to try to remake the... Hold on. <laughs> yes! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> so... Chat, I at least know Swampert's played this game. Swamp, where the fuck am I supposed to go? You forgore? Oh no. Uh oh. Wait, wait, I think I have the answer. Maybe. No, that's not the answer either. Ah! Well, here we are once again, back to playing the where the fuck do I go syndrome game. No oh boy, everybody ready? It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, but again, this game's music is kick-ass. Oh, dude, it absolutely, it fucking, it's banger, it's banger after banger right now. Yeah, I'm I'm having a little bit of a a little bit of an epiphany right now because I don't know. Hold on. Here. Uh, let me. Let's restart this real quick. Let's restart this real quick. Because I may have just botched it on accident, not realizing it. So we got to go down here. All right, we go this way. I'm going to go this way real quick. My concern is I botched it, chat. That, that's what my concern is. So let, let's see here. Like there's probably something I wasn't supposed to hit. For some reason... Hold on. Nope, that's... Again. That's how they wanted it. Alright, I'm confused. You've got me squat. You got me confused, game. got me confused I
you know what? If there's hidden blocks like that, I should probably, like, destroy all the blocks, huh? Hmm. Something tells me that there's a vent where those blocks are that I'm not seeing. Vent Among Us? <laughs> Yeah, boys, we're venting today. What do you got on your minds? What kind of sussy thoughts do you have in your minds? Can I have a venti mocha frap? You know, if Starbucks wanted to collab with the developers of Among Us, that would be fucking the best thing they could do. A venti... Frappuccino. A venti sus... Frappuccino. No. So then what the fuck? Where, what am I supposed to be touching? Uh... Oh, I see now. You move this... You know... I was wondering why there was, um... There was a fucking empty... <laughs> Right, okay. Got it. I was wondering why there was an empty one, and now, now it answers my question. Very good. Deflect. Oh, okay. It's the other trigger button. That's what it is. Man, I'm... I know I'm very slow with these type of things, but I haven't played this game in a fucking minute. There we go. There we go. Got it. Ah, yes! C -c 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 combo baby let's go uh oh uh oh we got Mega Man uh, platforms oh god okay looking lift in front of you that's called a lateral lift latch onto it and drill from either side keep drilling so drop drag before you hit your head Is the other gear. I have a feeling it's over here. Is this it? Nope. Nope, I wish it was though. God, I wish it was. I, I mean, I remember I know these bosses are doable without the other vent, without the, um, oh shit. <laughs> oh, speaking of devil. There it is. There's the third gear. I was gonna say, I, like, I know that the bosses are doable without all of the gears, but like... 
It's like, mm, I would rather have all three gears. Oh, hold on. Snake, you found the third Metal Gear. It was in my diapy wipies this whole time. I, I pushed it through, Snake. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that was the wrong diaper cheap joke, I'm sorry. Snake, ride it. I, I pushed the third gear in my diapy wipey. I require your assistance, ride it. Raiden, I need you to I need you to push my diapy wipey. I require it. Raiden, please. Diapy wipey, now. The third gear. You need it now. Chat, this is why this is one of the many reasons why I'm glad I didn't like oh I don't know. This is why I'm kind of glad I didn't play Metal Gear Rising today, because I would have been doing Diaper Chief bits all day. Even though Diaper Chief isn't my bit. It's not. Thank God. I would never hear the end of it if it was. Gears in this game are made of metal. Ah, you're funny. Uh, no, they're made of poop. That's why the diaper chief has them. We're gonna be here all day. Another gear. Snake, you can't be pooping any more gears. That's the fourth one this week. You mean today? What the fuck are you? up like most of my health thanks game his shield looks like among us yeah I noticed that too chat I just chose not to, to think about it because I was I, I wanted to think about the diaper chief bit with the diaper chief shitting out a fourth a fourth metal gear What the fuck are we feeding you? Milky. Milky, please. All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Cause this is gonna get taken out of context. Because I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, you little shit.
Oh my god. And I died. I died because of a poppy. Continue? Yeah, I'm gonna continue. Yeah. I made Maki Waki fifth metal. <laughs> the boss is cheap. <sighs> I thought you forgot like most of the shit in this game, Spawn. Now I did it. Okay. I just had to be cheap back. I did, but I remembered some of it. Oh. Oh wait, way to go, boss! Wow, the police sure make the robots on the cheap. That was one that was just by one screw. Remove it, and the whole thing falls to pieces. Is that what you meant by cheap? Is that what you meant by cheap? Right, okay. I, I see what you did there. Good, good, good. Well played. Well played. Well. Well played. Well played. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That was, that was clever. That was, that was very clever. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's no way I'm getting rid of those. Yeah. Let me see. Took that one clip out of context. <laughs> well, well played, good shit. I'm gonna throw this. <laughs> this is gonna have to go on the B clip channel anyway. You know, I I should probably like make it known where I put these. If you have Twitch clips or clips you want the of the stream that you want to throw. There is an area in the stream, in the server, called the, uh, in, it's in the base community channel area. Um. And you could throw them in, uh, there's a place called Stream Clips. That you could throw it there. Yes, you can't edit the clips on mobile. No, dude, you definitely can. I know my my dad works at Twitch. He, he can, he can, and he do the funny flip. So you're wrong. You're so wrong.
Nah, dude, my, my uncle works at Twitch and, uh... You're just wrong, you know? Hey, fuck you timing. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to throw all, all the clips up there. I'm just going to throw any clips I have up there. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what's going on here? Wait. Oh, is it like to match? Hold on. Yep. That's what it was. It's to match. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, you? You, you stupid duck! Man, you are... You are being a little shit. You know, you gonna come over here? Yeah, get get rammed in the butt, fucker. Oh. Dog do be wave dashing though. Yeah, though. That guard robot is just like the one you destroyed earlier. However, this one will hesitate to attack. You're giving your drill kit protect from its power. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to win with like one health. I don't know. We'll see. Man, you do be wave dashing though, huh? Try again. Give me the give me the money. Hey, 
Am I gonna have to do all those? Yeah, of course. It's okay. This is literally Pokemon sound effects the game. Dude, really it is. I love it though. It's 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 it has its charm. Yeah, I know. Funny, huh? It, 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 it has its charm. Meanwhile, any other game that I've played is like the bane of my existence, right? And then there's this this game. This needs to be an NSO plus expansion pack. I feel like it will be though. will be on NSO. If it is, that's a good thing. Like, I would actually... This game, HD Rumble equals Go Combo. I would really like to see this game on the expansion. I think, I think it would be a good addition. It would be a really good addition. God damn it, I missed. I missed because I was reading chat. Give me the red one. Come on. Read this old man. I'm reading him. I'm reading him pretty good. I'm just waiting for his red his red attack. Chat, this is what you're just gonna see in, in the next KSI versus Logan Paul fight. I hope you or Jake Paul fight. I hope you know this. This is literally what you're gonna be seeing. Whenever you're ready, dude. Fuck. God damn it. man you know what if that fucking puppy didn't like eat up 90% of my fucking health that'd be great as I as I fucking dash by the way
There we go. That's what I wanted. So if I touch the, the, the fucking fist is when it goes red, right? Is that what it is? Who's faster, Mega Man's dog or the dog from this game? I'm gonna bet Mega Man's dog, but this dog's pretty quick. I ain't gonna lie, he's, he's a pretty quick boy. there. Ah, oh, we got one more round. God damn it. Yes. Finally. Where's the red diamond? The safe door is up ahead. It's way too tough for you to drill through. Your drill dozer's gears are probably, are also probably worn by now anyway. Come back to the trailer and I'll fix you up. What? But it's right there! It's right fucking there! What the fuck? Spot the Pokemon sound fault the game. That is uh when you throw a spore. A red diamond must be locked away in the giant vault in that room. That's a problem. That's a problem, because the lock on the museum vault has three dials. The release lever is supposedly somewhere nearby, but I guess we'll have no choice but to head back in there and find out. Uh, he said the name of the game. Oh, he did, didn't he? Wasn't the name of the bot Drill Dozer? <laughs> Extra energy for your Drill Dozer? Um... Yeah, you know, I'll take that. I guess I can always use the more health. The girl you play as is Jill. Oh. Pretty ugly, pretty ugly girl though. Pretty fucking ugly girl. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I like how the button is it, the button is green and the B button is red, just like the GameCube controller. I feel like this game was meant to be played on the fucking GameCube, like the GameCube GBA thing. That's my thought process. If that's the case, you know the little um the little ex expansion thing for the GameCube that allowed you to like put Game Boy games in or Game Boy Advance games in, like how you would like use it to transfer Pokemon from uh, XD and Coliseum and shit. I feel like I feel like this is what this would be meant to play on. Like, if you had this game on the GBA, you were meant to play this on the GameCube.
Does that make sense? Like, I feel like that's... Yeah, you have one. Yeah. I don't have one, but then again, I don't own a GameCube. And I have no real intent to own a GameCube. To be honest. Pink Pac-Man. It's 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 a spooky Pac-Man. Here. Hold on. Ah, oh, I botched. I botched that. Hold on. Uh huh. Hold on. What the fuck? What? What do you mean? What the fuck? Like I don't want a GameCube. I have no r real reason to own one. Okay. No, pink Pac-Man? No, he's a spooky Pac-Man. He's spooky. He wants to, he wants to eat your uh, he wants to eat your mac and cheese and and he wants to call you gay. I own a GameCube is for homebrew. But I mean, it's the same reason why I own a fucking Wii, dude. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's the whole reason I own a Wii, to be honest. But do you have the Game Boy Player on your Wii? No, because I could just play Game Boy games on my PC or my game, my 3DS. Or if I really wanted to transfer Pokemon from Coliseum to Gen 3 games or vice versa, I could just use Poke PKX or PK to PK. Like... Oh jeez, hold on. There we go. Listen, PKX and PK to PK really helped out, help out, and remove a lot of those like troubling fucking pieces of shit situations. Which make, which I was thinking about it earlier uh, when I was taking a shower today. How there's rumors that there's a save aid edit feature, um, or a, like you know a PKX like save edit feature in in the DLC. Trying to remember how to. Oh, how do I dash? I can't remember how to fucking dash. Hold down and press A to dash. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Then I know the 10 times I end up using my GBA as the controller on my Game Boy Player. Maybe it's just because I'm like, not, I used to be that serious about console pro con preservation and shit. 
and I still am. Like, I'll collect video games from every now and then, but because of the pricing and shit, and it's like, I don't have the money to, to do that shit at this point, it's like, uh, I don't want to do it. I'd rather just digitally do shit and find ways around, you know, what's going on with the eShop. If that makes sense. The room that you just sneaked into must be a guard station. It's it's the control room for opening that giant vault. If you turn the wheel, you can turn the dials on that vault. But you must turn each of the three dials from eight different rooms. This is the art gallery. Talk about having duty security. Yeah, but the advice is rather simple. Problem here is figuring out which how how many times you have to dial the. You were saying that, that might be a clue. Turn the red dial two times to the right, four times to the left. Sneaked? Don't they mean snuck? No, no. They you meant they meant they meant snook snook. Poke block sound effect. Oh, wait a minute! Those are those look very reminiscent of the Poke Block Maker. Oh wow! Okay, there we go. Excellent! The first lock has been released! Go check the next control room! Oh wait, wrong, 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 wrong man. My bad. My bad, I thought, I thought, I, I'm mixing my old men up. Dude, that is so satisfying. No! You, you... Piece of shit. Come over here. I dare you. I fucking dare you. I'm not playing. I'm not playing these fucking games with this dog. Fuck that dog. Oh, we get ran over. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Chat, can I just say that the police officers look like clowns? This game came out six days after Pokemon Emerald, so that probably didn't help the sales numbers. Yeah, that's probably true. And then this is like right before people found out that Diamond and Pearl were coming out, huh? So people thought Emerald was going to be like the last game. <laughs> Ooh, is this sassy bitch? Ah, the thief has finally showed up. I bet you want that diamond, huh? How about I give you a taste of my EMP bombs instead? 
dude, who is this fucking sass, dude? Who is the sass with the ass? Stay clear of those EMP bombs or you'll trash your doors in a hurry. EMP bombs, so just use the fountain on them. You're a smart cutie. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now, I'm pretty sure she's the smart cutie, my guy. God damn it. Oh, did we do it? Okay, we did it. Detective Carry! Diamond is that a Pokemon Diamond Easter? No, my God, not clickbait. Chat, has anyone ever found anything in relation to Sinnoh in Gen 3? I'm genuinely curious. Like, you know how, like, most games have, like, an, a reference to the next generation? I'm wondering if someone had found anything in Gen 3. That isn't data mined like Shellos. I'm curious. Dang. Oh well, there's always a vault. Oops, I mean, never mind. Well, let, we'll let that cute little red dozer go for now. Dude, who is the sass? Smash. She's the most ruthless detective in the forest. If she's here, she's got to protect something important. That's it, our red diamond has to be in that vault. That fountain has some serious pressure. Oh, this is back when the uh, anime had Pokemon before the Pokemon made the game debuts. Yeah, see, that that's kind of what I figured, to be honest. God damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck! Come on! Oh my god. There we go. An XD and Munchlax appeared in Hoenn Anime. Well, I mean, I guess Bonsai appearing in XD counts. I'll say that one counts. Yeah, I'll sit here and say that Bonsai appearing in that game counts. Because it technically does count. The locker smells like old socks. There's a police bulletin here on the desk. Don't hassle any thugs from the Skulker gang. They're paying as well. Turn the dial five times to the left and three times to the right. Okay. Two. Three, four, five, one, two, three. I love how they had to they have that printed out and they try to keep it a secret. Shh, you're not supposed to know. No, well, the expectation is the employees are the only ones who are supposed to know this shit. It's not like the public's supposed to know this shit, unless you work there. 
right? That's like how, um, you know, when when you have a lock as to the to a jail's gate, and it's a combination of the same a combination as the address uh, uh, to the fucking um, to the gate itself. You're not supposed to know that as the public, but if you worked there, you would know. I'm not saying this goes for all jails. I'm just saying, based on my experience. See, that becomes an issue when you're a former employee, right? As intruder breaks in and knows about it, forgets to take down the signs with the combinations. Well, you don't know if Jill used to work there. God! Maybe, maybe she knows the combinations, the codes. Yeah, that always becomes a contention of an issue, right? Where if you're a former employee at a place and you know the combinations. Like, that becomes a very big security risk, doesn't it? Especially if you're like me, who's worked at a jail and you know those combinations. That's, that's an issue. <laughs> that's a big fucking issue. I'm not saying I would do anything malicious. I'm just saying if someone were to do something malicious or had an intent of doing something malicious and they knew the combinations because they used to work at a place, that's bad. But you would have to be like a level of fucking, I guess, crazy, right? That uh, isn't really normally achieved. Gets arrested at the jail Flamey works at. Uses my one and only call to call Flamey. August. I need those pins. Well, for starters, man, the only pin, the only pins I know are the main, the master gate and the fucking, and the master door. But first, you have to figure out a way to pop your fucking door. <laughs> and pop your own fucking door. And even then, if you're in, like, the intake area, you could just yank a fucking chain and walk out. There was one detainee that did that fucking right after I quit, apparently. And just walked the fuck out! Literally, just walked the fuck out and left the gate. Went all the way a few blocks up and went into one of those homeless clothing things and got a, a female wig and a fucking skirt and tried to walk out of Roswell. <laughs> Real story, by the way. True story. Like, actual true story. So, right after I fucking quit, um, there was already investigations and shit, like, going on about, like, you know, people's officers bringing in drugs. Surprise, surprise. Which, not a surprise. Um, there was. There absolutely was. And, well, after they did the whole raid, um, which <clears throat> some of the officers I used to know actually did get ended up getting arrested. 
right? Um, funny enough, a guy, they have rehired a guy who used to be my supervisor. Um, and, um, you think they're trans now? What, what, are, what do you fucking think? What? What do you, what, what does that have to do with anything? What? Anyway. Um, so, former sergeant, he get they, he gets rehired. He's notoriously known to be fucking lazy and very slow and fucking, he, he's just terrible at his fucking job, right? Um, his joke, hey, uh, you might want to chill out with that. Anyway, don't care if it's a joke. If it had, it had nothing to do with the context, that's not funny. Um. Oh, who got the wig? No, 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 that's not funny. No, that's not funny. Anyway, um. Regardless, though, um. So, he goes into control, because I used to be the one who was in charge of control. So, I used to be the master control, uh, supervisor. So, when I quit, he went to control. And he just opened the dude's door open. And he wasn't paying attention. He just popped it open. Dude walked out. He walked out into Sallyport. Waved at the camera thinking someone's going to get him. And then he walked out into the LEO area. Which is where they bring officers bring in the detainees. Uh, the soon to be processed detainees. Continued to wave at the camera. Walked all the way to the Sallyport area. Which is the fucking garage. Yanked the chain. The, the door goes wide open. Dude looks at the other camera in Sallyport, flips the fucking camera off, and walks all the way out to the north gate. He didn't get caught until like a, a, day, a day or two after. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, dude, my former supervisor shit sent me the video of it and I was just fucking dying. <laughs> He sent me a video of it on my government email. I wish I fucking kept it, man. I wish I fucking kept it. It was so fucking funny. But, um, yeah, yeah, it, it happened. It, shit happens like that. Um, we had another detainee. This is when I was working there as a corporal. Um, but I, it wasn't my day, right? Thank God. Because, <laughs> man. Uh, he he literally caved a fucking hole in the shower, right? In the in the public shower, climbed in there, and uh, fell literally fell into the medical unit. Grabbed a a broomstick and grabbed just a fuck ton of like shitty fucking needles. And just like made a makeshift weapon. Somehow ended up. Somehow ended up um out of the building. Still don't know how that happened. Oh, shit. And, um, well, he managed to get all the way back to his house. And, uh, funny enough about that situation, the, 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 um, the, 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 the sheriff's office was like, was like, give us, like, till four in the morning. And sure enough, at four in the morning, he pops up. They bring him back at four in the fucking morning. They were confident in getting this motherfucker. Prisoners are crazy motherfuckers. I mean, shit, like some people don't want to do life. And keep in mind, this isn't prison. This is a county jail. So I, I <laughs> I've had officers in the past uh, bring detainees drugs. I had one, she actually, funny enough, got my ex fired. Like, I had to walk my ex out because of this bitch. And I'm kind of glad Karma got her ass because when my ex got fired, literally a week afterwards, she had to do overtime, right? And, um, she had to do overtime. And she's like, well, I gotta go. I'm gonna go get Taco Bell. I'll be back. And I wasn't running the floor, so I didn't fucking care. Like, it wasn't my shift. Um, hi Snakey, by the way. Dildozer. Yep, Dildozer. It's Dildozer time. 
Um, it wasn't my shift, so I didn't give a fuck. I didn't. I wasn't running the, the facility that that day. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, like she really wasn't getting Taco Bell. You know what she was doing? She was getting fucking heroin for this dude because she was trying to have sex with this dude who's doing who's like has a fucking murder charge. I have had a former sergeant have sex with a max unit detainee in the supervisor's office. There's a reason we call it the cum desk for a reason. Or as one of my lieutenants puts it, the semen demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I've had officers and corporals, other corporals, get drunk in the laundry room with, uh, fucking... With, uh, fucking, uh, uh the CEOs. With the detainees, right? And you know what the thing is, though? And I don't really blame the officers with the drunk shit, because, like... I, I look at it this way, man. If you're if you're overworking uh, the officers and corporals and sergeants to the point where it's like 200 hours fucking per work week because you don't want to raise your fucking pay and like you want to keep having the the facility be safe, but you have like five officers, one supervisor to the accountability of like 252 detainees, like that's fucking insane. And because you can't fucking improve things, you're like, it was, it was bad. It was fucking bad. And so your mental health deteriorates quick, right? I remember there were times where I literally almost ran my fucking car into a fucking pole just so that way I didn't have to go to work. It was bad. So, I mean, yeah, it was pretty bad. And I'm not exaggerating, by the way. I was working about close to 200 to three, 200 to 212 hours per pay period. It was bad. But everyone kept calling in because they were sick. They weren't healthy. And then, you know, if you called in, God forbid you called in, the fucking lieutenants and sergeant and chief would throw a fucking hissy fit because they didn't want to come in. Six times to the left, one times to the right, and 12 times to the left. There's only 160 hours in a week. My guy, there were some times where, you're, where you were taking other people's paychecks. That's how that worked. So, if say they didn't have enough people to work the shift, and you were already called in as OT, and then nobody else was able to come in, you would start stacking other people's paychecks. So they, HR, what they would do is they would take their 12 to, 12 to 16 hours and stack it onto your own paycheck. So if you think about it, because you were doing the work of three different people to one person, you were getting paid three different people to one person. So if, say for example, there's A, B, C, D shift, right? And you were fucking working 22 hours like I was as a supervisor and you were taking place of other corporals You are now getting paid their shit on top of your own They didn't get their pay you got their pay and that's how that worked. That's why I say when it's 200 hours That's what I mean by that It was it was fucking insane And the thing was, it was completely legal because they signed waivers saying that they uh, they can allow it. Okay.
Fuck, I fucked it up. I did. I fucked it up. <laughs> Six times to the left, one to the right, 12 times left. Oh, I was fucking it up anyway. So six to the left. I lost count. God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. One. Thank you, Swampert. No, I just lost count in my head. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, wait, one. Two, three, stop it! Stop! <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> stop, fuckers! Seven, one hundred fifty-four, eleven hundred billion trillion. Fuck you! <laughs> You're supposed to be on my side, Snakey. Jesus. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, oh! I was good anyway. Eat a dick. Thirteen thirty-seven. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, chat. <laughs> Sixty-nine thousand four hundred and twenty. You a brass? You crack the rock on the rock. Go see what's inside. Watch it be nothing. Watch it literally be fucking nothing. Can you fuck? God. Eight equal. E that's a penis. That's a penis. Yep. That that's a big. That's a big giant penis. And that's a penis that squirts. That's a bigger penis that squirts. Chat. Chat's just putting penises in chat because. How, how how your woman wants it when she, when you give her the fuck when you when you want the fuck yeah I forgot about that oops you know what's funny is I did it th correctly the first time. So my girl sticks a little drill up her ass. Yes, yes, that's what butt plugs are. They're just drill tips. He's having a lot of fun down there, ain't he? 
kind of want to join him. You want to know? You want to know what's weird, chat? You know how like they have. Show flamey the flamey show sneaky the funny tail whip sound. Oh yeah, so this game sneaky if you if you didn't know it has Gen three uh, Pokemon sound font because this game was made by Game Freak around the same time Emerald was being made. You gotta be fucking me. Whoop! Nah, son. Give me that health. Yeah! Oh, that wasn't enough. Okay. Run from the pink Pac-Man. Oh, what what's this? Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a I'm having a problem here. It's literally Pokemon Pokemon move sound effects. It is. Okay. Make him go blind. I'm the anti Mr. Beast chat. I, I'm, instead of healing people's blindness, I'm making them go blind. I'm giving them, I'm giving them back their cataracts. Yeah. Oh, thank God. You're that generous game. Thank you for being generous. Holy shit. Yeah, you want the cataracts. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Oops. Imagine having good eyesight. Dude, I literally almost accused my cats of, like, fucking stealing my glasses to fuck with me. Because I was so fucking tired on NyQuil last night that, like... That I fucking... That I didn't realize I put him on the fucking beanbag when I fell asleep on my desk last night. <laughs> You're on the vault! Ooh wee, look at all that gold! The red diamond of, of your, or yours has got to be around here somewhere. You looking for this? That's not a red diamond. I knew you'd be coming looking for the diamond. I've been waiting for you. There's no way I'm handing it over. The tick carry is acting really odd. The diamond is in the safe, that ye the yellow diamond. I won't hand it over. Won't give it. It's mine, all mine. That's that's not the diamond we're looking for. She can't hear you now, you've got to destroy her robot. Police robots have a weakness around their belly. Look for it. Don't just sit there and fucking say that! The piss crystal. 
You have an adorable fu- mm, No, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. You have an awesome fucking adorable sassy fucking character in a robot and you mentioned belly. Ah! Anyway. You mean the chaos emeralds! Also say hi to my doggy flume. Hi doggy. <laughs> Chat, did she literally just scream in agony because of that? She really just did. Bloom, say hi to my dog. He just hopped up in my bed. You want me to say hi to your doggy? Okay. Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my... Hi, doggy. You're my... There, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I like how... I like how Tommy does bear, is like afraid of touching this dog in this in this one fucking scene. <laughs> He's like so afraid of touching this dog for some reason. It's so it's fucking stupid. <laughs> oh hi doggy. <laughs> Chat, I legit- oh, that's the Pokeball opening sound effects. Chat, I like how she screams in agony. Oh. Oh, shit. the stomach she screams in agony dude it's like as if I'm I'm like I I'm sorry oh oh there's a second round uh-huh oh I see I don't remember Screaming Agony being in Gen 3. I do. It's called Juan and it's called Emerald Wallace and Juan. Chat, I don't remember how to. Hmm. How, how do I fight this? Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Another, I'm on an actual ener another energy tank. Got it.
use your shield. Fuck. God damn it, man. Fuck off. Oh my god. There's too many of them. Really? Damn, literally at one health. At one fucking health of all things. <laughs> Damn, overkill and explosions much? Jeez. Huh? I came here to arrest some thieves. What happened? Pokemon Sacred Sword and Suspicious Shield. Also known as Aegislash. So you came to get your red diamond back. Well, this isn't the diamond you're looking for, thief. You leveled a city block. Ah. Well, I wouldn't be the Joker, baby, if I wasn't in justice. That was a bad joke. Master Emerald! No, it's the Piss Emerald. It's the Piss Emerald. Get it right. Come on, get it right. Get on the engine, boss. You're back on, in the trailer, safe and sound. The second care is usually pretty cool and collected. What got into her? Why'd she go to crazy for that diamond? Come to think of it. When's the diamond we're looking for red? That one's yellow. And this museum brochure says something about it to the five diamonds. So what you're saying is, there may be even more diamonds out there. I think so. I, have, I had a blue diamond that's hidden somewhere in the Kuru ruins. Think it's one of the five diamonds we're looking for? All right. I'm gonna actually tell you what. I'm gonna stop here. The water crystal. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna say thank you for watching. That was real dozer for now. Hmm. Alrighty. Ah. Uh, Tell you what. Dildozer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Dildozer! <laughs>